Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are once again here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and with the brand new map just around the corner. I thought it would be fun to go back and hunt a lot of the species that are going to be on that map and a lot of the species that are going to be similar to some of the new species. So stuff like the lynx is going to be very similar to the bobcats. So we're going to hunt stuff like that today along with mule deer, white tailed deer, turkey, and many, many others. So. I figure we'll start out with the mule deer and there's actually a couple coming in right now so let's get lined up on one of these guys. With the mule deer once again being added to a brand new map we're now going to have three different locations that we can hunt them on and I have a feeling that this one is going to be probably the most fun place to hunt them. Silver Ridge Peaks as of now is my favorite place to hunt the mule deer but I have a feeling that this new map is probably going to take over that position. All right, this guy should be in a good spot now to where we can get vitals, so let's take a shot. And we got the other one down too. So that is two mule deer on the ground. The mule deer is one of those species that I never get tired of hunting just because of how much variety they have in their antlers and just the sheer size of the diamonds. Even though all of the diamond racks don't necessarily look amazing, there's a couple that I'm not a fan of. But for the most part, they still look pretty decent and the ones that do look good look fantastic. But here is the second one right here. It is a level 3 217.50. Shot it from 138 meters. It's a very solid looking buck. Something that I have been hearing DD33 talk about quite a bit in his recent videos is how awesome it's going to be to see the mule deer in a desert type of climate. And I 100% agree. I think that's going to be really awesome to see. So I'm really happy that they're going to be on this map. There's a decent level 3 buck out there. It's not really huge, but it's got a really cool rack that kind of looks like a whitetail. So... Let's take that guy out. Looks to be a solid shot. Get that guy as well, although I don't even know if that connected to be honest. There was a lot more mule deer there than I thought there was. Hopefully there wasn't anything too big that we spooked off. And yeah, that is the rack that... Actually, no, that is not the one that looks similar to a whitetail. But that is a pretty good looking level 3. Very solid for being a 3. I honestly would not mind getting a rare with this rack. I think that would look really cool. Very solid mule deer for sure. That is a very nice looking mule deer buck right there. I think it's probably going to be on the lower middle of that estimate, but... Still a very solid one for sure. So we'll get that guy down. And then after that... There's a clip that I would love to show you guys from one of the live streams that we had recently where we got a pretty cool mule deer buck that I have actually been... Well, it was actually one that I recently mentioned that I wanted and then we ended up finding it on stream in a multiplayer session. So that was pretty cool to say the least. And that is a good looking mule deer right there. Very solid buck. 238.40. Not bad at all. I think this is the exact same rack that my best Melanistic has. That's super cool. Definitely like this rack, but let's go ahead and jump into that clip from the stream because it was a pretty cool trophy. That is a piebald right there, and just today in the uh, video that I posted of the highlights with Kill Clinton, I was talking about how I wanted a big piebald with this pattern. That's really cool, because there is two different piebald patterns. This is the smaller pattern. But that's pretty awesome. We finally got one. That's super cool. That is super, super cool. Honestly, couldn't have been better timing either. Literally the same day that I mentioned it in a video that I wanted to see one, we end up finding one. There he is. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up. That's super cool. It's one of the nice racks, too. That's a pretty good rack. I'm actually really happy with that. Wow. That's a good piebald. That is really good. Probably one of the nicer looking racks I've seen on a rare. Well, I gotta say, that's probably one of the coolest uh, mule deer trophies I've got besides that pot, uh, melanistic as of recent. 
This guy and the Melanistic have probably been the coolest things we've got mule deer wise in the past couple months. Now that you guys have seen that, this right here is actually the second species that is going to be on the brand new map set in Mexico. That is the bighorn sheep. This will be the first time that they've been used on another map and it's going to be nice to have them there. Uh, they are on Silver Ridge Peaks and that's pretty much it. But I don't really find myself targeting them too often. I'm usually hunting mountain lions when I end up finding bighorn. Like they're never my primary target but I do think they're cool. They might need a little bit of tweaks in the future but it's going to be nice to have them on another map. I'm still a little bit disappointed that we didn't get desert bighorn instead but I guess there's not really too much they could have done to differentiate the two. So I guess I can kind of see why they did this but just would have been nice to have the desert variation. This guy, unfortunately, is a very small bighorn sheep. Uh, actually, that's one of the smallest level twos I think I've ever killed. So uh, we'll try to find a better specimen, but that's a good way to start, I guess. Kind of show off a smaller one. That is definitely a better specimen of a bighorn sheep for sure. And there's actually one or two others there also. So we'll actually try to take out all three of them because this will give us a good range of different levels and one female also. Well that should do it. I don't know if that last one's going to die anytime soon but we got a shot into all of them. I didn't expect him to dart off that quickly so... Uh, we might have to do a little bit of extra tracking for him, but we did get a hit into him, so he should die in the end. At least we ended up dropping this big guy right here and then the female over there. So this one is a 136, which is actually just barely gold, but I think this is one of the best looking horn shapes for the big horn sheep. It's just very solid looking. This is about what I would expect a big, big horn to be in real life. Uh, for some reason, the diamonds in this game just curl an excessive amount. But I think this is one of the best looking ones right here. Looks pretty awesome. And then right here we got ourselves a little female one. They are about the same as that level 2 male so not really anything too crazy with them but they still look nice. And I just got kicked from the server. Well then, I guess we're not going to get to see that level 3 but we do have a level 3 that we got on a stream recently that we're gonna go ahead and show off now since we got kicked from that server. That right there is an albino bighorn and it's actually a level 3 also. It's currently uh, fleeing away though. That's really cool though. I think that's actually a pretty good uh, set of horns also. Let's keep him spotted. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. We have to be getting close. I mean we just saw one of them. Oh. There he is, there he is. Right there. Gonna be hard to get an angle where we can actually take him though. We're probably gonna have to push him out further. At least we got eyes on him though so we know we're in the right area. Oh yeah, he's definitely right down. There he is. He's going straight downhill. Just barely caught him out of the corner of my eye. Come on. Stop and go in a circle like you just did. There we go. I think that was good. No, it wasn't. Wait, how? How is that not good? Second one was, I think. I think the second one was. Zeroed for 300? No, you're right! I was zeroed for 300! Why? <laughs> no! <laughs> I should have checked. I don't even remember changing to 300. Ah, oh, man. It's been a while since I forgot to change the zeroing back. That's kind of sad. I mean, it's still cool. Just uh, not going to get full score. Let's hope it just wasn't going to make gold anyways. Yeah, it wouldn't have even been gold. Oh. Yikes. Wouldn't have mattered if, if the second shot made it. 
Another thing that we're going to have on the brand new map is the Rio Grande Turkey, which is a little bit different than the turkeys that we currently have here on Silver Ridge Peaks and Tiabaroa. And there is a few differences that you will notice on the actual models. And we're going to kind of compare them once we pick this guy up. We will toss a screenshot of both of them side by side on the screen so you guys can kind of get an idea of what is different between them. So here is the turkey that we currently have in Call of the Wild, which I believe this is supposed to be a Miriam's turkey. And it looks like some of the main differences on the Rio Grande turkey is, well, as far as I can tell, the main difference is going to be the head. Because the head of this turkey right here, as you can see, is a little bit more reddish and... The Rio Grande turkey appear to have a lot more blue on their head. And as far as I can tell based off of the brief look that they gave us, it appears that maybe the coloration on the chest is a little bit different, but it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, either way, they look pretty cool. And it's going to be nice for it to at least not be the same species of turkey. Because that's one thing that I was a little bit afraid of is that we were just going to get a copy of this turkey, but it, it does appear there is some differences. Uh, once again, we'll toss the image up right next to this so you guys can kind of compare the two. It would have been nice if this guy was flying so we could get a better look, but I mean, it is what it is. You can still kind of see how everything is, and we took a good look at him on the ground too. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Okay, so the next animal on the list is the white-tailed deer, and that is a piebald one right there. That is really lucky, the first Layton Lake server we join, and we find ourselves a piebald buck. Uh, let's spot all these others just to make sure there isn't any diamonds or anything like that. Uh, wow, that is insane. Let's stop this guy real quickly. Last thing we want is to take a shot when he's actually running. Hopefully he will go broadside for us and then we can get a shot off on him. Because I don't want to risk this at all, this is a really good looking buck right here. Such a nice looking piebald. Alright, so that's him right there. You can't really see the piebaldness on him too easily from this angle. I don't even know if that was the correct term to use, but we're going to go with it. That is indeed him. So once he lifts his head up, we will try to get a shot off. I think this should be good right here. And that will drop him on the spot. Not too bad. A nice little find for this video. But anyway, this is one of the species that people have wanted on another map for a very long time. And we are finally going to get them on another map. And whitetail is something that I have hunted probably more than anything else besides maybe the red deer. Uh, specifically grinding for the great one. I've killed over 3200 whitetail and just not had any luck with the great one. Got one of the bugged great ones once. Had lots of diamonds and rares along the way. So it's going to be really nice to be able to grind for the great one on another map. And that's something I know a lot of people are going to be doing, including myself. I think most likely I'll be grinding for the great one very soon after the map full releases. But this right here is actually one of the nicest piebald bucks I think I've ever killed. That is a really good one. Now the question is, is he going to break 230? I think if he breaks 230s, he'll be my biggest ever. It's a 236. That was literally as high as the estimate could go. What a giant. That is just truly a monster piebald whitetail deer. Honestly, I don't think we could find anything better in this video. This is about as good as it gets. That is super cool. That is super awesome. So we now have a 230s albino and a 230s piebald. Now we just need to find a 230s melanistic. Okay, so uh, this is not a species that's going to be on the new map, but that is a leucistic and oh, that actually is a species that's going to be on the new map, so uh, let's go ahead and take that out. Coyote are finally making a return on a brand new map, and it's going to be cool to have them somewhere else. Let's uh, try to get this little leucistic out of the air now. Probably going to be a challenge considering my duck aim, but... Oh well, hopefully we can get this guy out of the air, uh, but primarily I was trying to hunt species today that are going to be on the new map, so it is what it is. I had to take that coyote out. Well, that is quite unfortunate, but we got down our coyote and 
that's really all that matters for this video, I guess. It sucks that we're not going to get that leucistic, but here we have a little female coyote. Just a common, but it is going to be very nice to be able to hunt these on a different map. I hope eventually they redo the models. They're a little bit small and honestly kind of mangy looking. So hopefully they get a bit of a improved model in the future, but for now we at least have them on another map and if I'm ever going to get a diamond coyote, it's going to be from this new map because I absolutely hate hunting them on Layton. It's just not a good time. So this little guy in front of me is not going to be on the new map, but a species very similar will be and that is the bobcat. It's going to be cool to hunt them. The models look amazing from what we saw during the reveal stream. And I'm really excited to see how they're going to be. It looked like they used the same animation set as the Eurasian Lynx. So I would imagine they'll move around very similar. They'll kind of look the same when they're like walking and stuff. But the models for them look very different. And I'm pretty excited to see them on the map. Now one thing I'm hoping is that they won't drink at night. But knowing EW they probably will. Because they seem to like to make all the predators drink at night. But I mean, either way, it's going to be really cool to see them on the map. I have wanted to see Bobcat for a while. I didn't expect them to be on this map though, but I am pleasantly surprised that they will be. This is honestly about the smallest lynx we possibly could have found for this video, but I mean, that's kind of cool to be honest. A 17.30 scoring bronze female Eurasian lynx, level 1. But the lynx have always been a very beautiful looking animal in the game. I don't hunt them a lot just because of how difficult they are to hunt, but they do look really nice and I'm excited to see the bobcat coming into the game also. The new map is also going to have the antelope jackrabbits, so we are going to go ahead and take out a white-tailed jackrabbit because this is currently the closest thing we have to those. And there we go, second time is the charm on that. But it's going to be cool to have them because from what we saw during the reveal live stream, they have absolutely massive ears and some pretty cool patterns on them too. And I'll probably throw up a picture of them right now so you guys can get an idea of what they're going to look like. But I was honestly kind of impressed that they don't look like the other rabbits in the game. So it's kind of cool to see that. This reserve is going to be very small game heavy, which this is the first time that's ever happened on any reserve. And it's also going to have a lot of deer hunting. So this is going to be a really interesting map to play and I'm pretty excited for it honestly. Unfortunately the two species that I am most excited for, there really isn't anything in the game currently that resembles them much. I mean pheasant are going to be something that we're getting on this new map at, but there's not really anything in game currently that I could really compare them to to show off to you guys today. So. We're probably going to have to skip over that one, and as much as I would- Oh wow, we only hit the heart on this rabbit, that's incredible. I don't think I've ever done that before. We only hit the heart. How does that happen? Well anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> I think there would have been one thing that I could have shown in place of the collared peccary, and that is the feral pigs, but unfortunately I have a lot of crashing issues with Tiawaro at the moment, so I'm not going to be able to show that off today either, but you guys can get an idea of what they look like from these screenshots that I'm going to throw up right now. I am very excited for the collared peccary, or as they're also referred to as the javelina, which is what I'll probably be calling them mostly. They're a really cool species, and they're actually considered a rodent, so a lot of people might think they're a pig. But they're not. They're more closely related to rodents, if I remember right, and they're one of the biggest rodents there is. And I think that's going to be a really cool thing to have in the game. And then pheasants, well, I mean by now everybody knows that pheasants are something that I've wanted for a long time. And it's really going to change up the bird hunting in this game, I think, because the mechanics they have for these pheasants are so much better than any of the birds that are currently in game. You actually have to shoot them out of the air. You cannot shoot them on the ground or else you won't get a single score for them. Uh, they also have to be flushed, which is really cool. You'll actually get to like run up on them and spook them out, take them out with the shotgun. And I think that's going to be really cool. The only time we'll ever really use the 22 for them is probably at close range once they kind of fly out of shotgun range. So it's really going to be different than any other bird in the game, which I'm really excited for. But anyway, this right here is the white-tailed jackrabbit, which the antelope jackrabbit is 
I think this is the most similar thing we currently have to the antelope jackrabbit, but the white-tailed jackrabbit are probably one of the... I'd say it's one of my least favorite rabbits in the game. They're still cool, but I like stuff like the European rabbit and the European hare a little bit more. But these antelope jackrabbit are probably going to top all of the current rabbits for me. I honestly did not expect to be adding a brand new whitetail trophy to the lodge in this video. That's about the last thing that I expected to be doing, so that, that was actually a really nice surprise. Um, I believe... Yeah, our old best piebald was 232, so it looks like we did already have a 230s piebald, but this one is better, so... We're gonna have to take this down and replace the one that's in there. There we go. We finally have... A 236 piebald, a little bit bigger than our 232, and I think it's actually got a cooler rack also. I really like that. I also changed the order at which these guys are in here, so we have a little bit of a different look compared to what we had before. Now, I don't know what angle is going to look best. Um, I think that looks pretty good there. Uh, maybe... I don't know. Maybe that one, actually. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. We might change this around at another time, but... I think for now that looks pretty good. And even that does right there. Actually, I really like that. I think we'll keep it like this. Now, as far as the Bighorn goes, we did not put him into our main lodge because he's actually smaller than a lot of the ones that we've killed in the past. But we did end up putting this piebald mule deer up right here. Now, it's hard to tell that it's piebald because it is the pattern that doesn't show very well, but if you look right on the neck, you can see that it is a piebald. So I guess it's not the end of the world that it doesn't show up super well. But if you look at the other ones, it's not quite as white on the neck. There's a little bit more white on the piebald. Uh, this guy doesn't have that, so that's the easiest way to tell them apart, I guess, on these plaques. But it's just nice that we finally got ourselves a big piebald like this. 246.9 is not a bad buck at all. And it honestly has one of the racks that I like the most, so this is pretty much best case scenario for a piebald mule deer. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little look at the species that are going to be coming onto the brand new map, along with some species that are similar to the ones that are going to be on the new map. It was a lot of fun to make this video, and we managed to check off a really nice white-tailed deer, so that was a great bonus. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!